Hello everyone, welcome to Ad America TV. My name is James, one of the e-guides here at Ad America, and we welcome our audience members joining online. We hope that you're doing well and staying safe. Ad America is the United States Embassy's American Center, and our mission is to provide a space for young Indonesians to learn more about the United States. In this episode, we'll be having Painting on My Mind, my African-American inspiration. But before we begin, let's break the ice with a little game. I have here a question for all our audience members. That question is, which African-American artist painted President Obama's presidential portrait? I have here several options. Is it Jean-Michel Basquiat, uh, John F. Kennedy? Or is it B, Kehinde Wiley, Barack Obama? Is it C, Joshua Johnson, Franklin D. Roosevelt? Or is it D, Augusta Savage, Abraham Lincoln? Stay tuned until the end of this program because we'll be giving a live shout out to who I can answer correctly on our social media. I'd also like to let everyone know that as continuation of our 10th anniversary celebration and Black History Month in February, we here at Ad America are holding an activity along with a giveaway. And that giveaway is the iPhone 12 Pro. So you, if you're interested, stay until the end of this program to find out how to join. Other than that, don't forget to take a selfie and tag at America's Instagram account. Now, without further ado, let me introduce everyone to our speaker for today, Kak Natasha Budiman from Bartega Studios. Kak Natasha, the stage is yours. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today's class. Hello, my name is Natasha. Just um, call my name if you have any question. And today, I will be your instructor to have um, our painting class. And today we'll be painting a beautiful painting that is inspired by um, the Black History Month, which is um, in this month of February. So we're celebrating the last days of Black History Month with a beautiful painting and we'll learn a lot today too. Before we start painting, I will start um, with a short presentation about Black History Month, which um, you may or may not know, but um, let me start my presentation here. Yeah, so this is our painting for today. Um, I have a dream. Who knows what, who knows what this means um, or who, would, who says this um, quote? Anyone know? Who's the famous person behind this beautiful quote? I have a dream. Maybe someone can, anyone can unmute yourself or just say out loud who, you know. So this quote is by the, the most popular and amazing leader, Martin Luther King Jr. So it's just a very simple painting of a little boy um, on, a, on a plane, on a paper plane, reaching towards his dreams. Yeah, so just like all of us, we all have dreams and don't be afraid to reach your dreams and your goals. Um, and today we'll be painting my African-American inspiration in light of Black History Month. So what is Black History Month? 
So in the United States of America, every February, they celebrate the achievements and history of African Americans. And they celebrate it at, for a whole month of February. So it's such an, a, a beautiful time for African Americans to just look back at their, all their achievements and what they've been through the whole time in history. And they went through a lot um, to reach this time, of the, this time where they are able to celebrate and support each other in the United States. So a little bit of a history back in 1915, it's, they founded um, an association about the study of Negro life and history. So Carter G. Woodson was founded this, you know, this organization. And in 1926, um, they, they started Negro History Week and they picked this specific um, month of, Fe of February because of two reasons. So first, it's the birthday of Frederick Douglass who is an abolish uh, abolitionist for slavery. So he, he, he played a huge role in um, going against slavery of the African-Americans in the United States. And it is also the birthday of the former president, Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln actually fought for the enslavement of black, history, black people in the history. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a, good, um, a good time just to celebrate this this historical time celebrating these two amazing, these two amazing figures. And finally, in 1976, Black History Month um, was established. And so it's, it's they, they, they realize it's such a, such an important time where they need to celebrate the achievements of African Americans. And, and ever since the 1976, um, Black History Month has been celebrated ever since. So what does it honor? Why, what is so special about Black History Month? So it is created to focus attention on the contributions of African Americans in the United States. So it's a celebration throughout the whole history from um, the time where they were in slavery and people fought for their freedom, even until today in the present time where so many African Americans are in the United States still fighting for what they what they actually um, strive for, you know. And there is still a lot of discrimination happening even today. So they're still they're still in progress of fighting for their freedom. So just in honor of of Black History Month, let me share some important people. So this is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who is actually the, the, the person behind the quote, I have a dream. So he, he, he made a, hu a, a beautiful and very historical um, speech to the whole of the United States, and he fought for equal rights for Blacks throughout the whole 1950s to the 1960s. And Thurgood Marshall. He's the first African-American justice appointed in the United States Supreme Court in 1967. So he played a huge role in the, as a, um, for justice, yeah, and as a lawyer. Um, and Mae Jemison, she's the first female African-American astronaut to travel in space back in 1962. Look how she, how beautiful she is. And of course, everyone, loves Barack Obama and he's the first ever African-American president of the United States in 2008 and I think we all know that he has some family in Indonesia as well so he's he's just very inspiring and very kind and he's such an inspiration to all African-Americans as well and how about now what is happening today in the United States and yeah, today it's still it's still a continuation of a celebrate celebratory. I mean, even we are celebrating Black History Month here in Indonesia, and people still discuss and have special even art exhibitions or um, you know just historical exhibitions in museums, um, even screenings, movie screenings about Black Black history, and it's just a, a beautiful time for. African Americans to remember and look back about how much they have achieved throughout this, the whole years. 
in the United States. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening to a short presentation about Black History Month. I hope you all learned something new, although it's very short and brief, but you always learn something new, right? Especially in this time of COVID. And who's ready to start painting? So it's, it's time for our painting workshop. So we're going to paint um, young Martin Luther King, or you can also change this to yourself. So you can change it as a girl or um, you and your dog or your, you and your siblings sitting on the plane. So it's completely free, but we're going to paint this beautiful painting. I have a dream. Okay, so let me go to my canvas. So is everyone ready? Give me some thumbs up when you're ready. Semuanya kasih jempol ya. Jangan malu-malu ya semuanya. If you have any questions, just unmute yourself. Say hi. Hi, Natasha. I have a question. Or you can also write in the comment section, okay? And I will answer all of your questions accordingly. Okay, let's start. So for today's session, we will be painting using acrylic paint. So I have my paint here. So acrylic paint. So acrylic paint is water-based. So it dries really quickly. So I have my five colors. So I will be only using primary colors. I have red, yellow, and blue. So I have these three colors next to me. And also, these are important colors that we need, black and white. Okay? So get your paint ready. Um, I have my palette ready. So it's just a, some, a place for me to mix my paint. So get a palette ready if you have one. If you don't have one, you can also use a plate, a paper plate, or anything, you know, I think um, you can use any kind of medium for, to mix your paint. Get some tissue or some cloth for you to clean your brush. So I also have a cup of water, yeah, I don't, like an, uh, an old cup that, that is unused that you can fill in your water so you can clean your brushes with a cup of water. I have my brushes, of course. I have a lot of different sizes from large to small, so get them ready if you have your brushes. And I'm going to be using a canvas, and my canvas is size 30 times 40 centimeters, so it's around this size next to my face. So it's quite nice. And um, so um, I think some of you already have the sketch, some of you do not. So get for those of you who does not have a sketch of the play and you can get, grab a pencil or chalk. I'll be using a, a, um, a marker just so you can see clearly what I'm sketching, yeah? Okay, so my first step is actually sketching the plane. So I think some of you already have the canvas package, so it's already sketched out. But for those of you who have an empty Canvas, you can start following me. So I'm just sketching a simple, a simple plane, paper plane. So you can start with a triangle and make it like a, a triangle facing upwards to the right side. So around something like this. So it's like a triangle and then it's facing upwards. You can start sketching it with a pencil. I'm using a marker just so you can see through the screen so it's more clear. You don't need, um, if you have a marker, it's fine, but you can, it's better if you just use a pencil. So you can also erase if you have any, if you make any mistakes, or you can use a chalk as well. So this is the first step. It's just simply sketching the plane on the bottom left of your canvas, okay? So I will wait for around two minutes until everyone finish sketching, and then I will start coloring the background, okay? And once you're done with the sketch, please give me a thumbs up in, as a reaction like this. So I know when I can start the next step. How is everyone doing? Who, who has not painted before? Is this 
anyone's first time ever painting with acrylic paint or is anyone else here using a different kind of medium maybe watercolor or gouache or oil painting there are so many different kinds of painting mediums and so acrylic is just one of them there are so many yay cool mary nice Bagus rapi sekali. Yeti is still sketching. Hi, Amira. I love your sticker on your face. Two butterflies. Really cute. Hi, Fenikasha. Petria is sketching. Alma. How's, how are you, Gloria? Okay. <laughs> Gita? Ah, bagus, Gita. Nice. Good job. Who else is Alifia, Sakia? Okay, I'll wait for another minute, yeah? Nice, Amira. Good job. Yeah. Okay, I think most of you are done, okay? So let's move on to the next step. So we will start coloring the background, yeah? So we will color the top the top, um, top to the middle part with really dark blue. So get your blue color and black. Black and blue, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna start putting some black here, some black, just one squeeze of black. And some dark blue, like this. Okay, just can put it next to each other like this, it's fine. And then grab your largest brush. Around this big. Okay. Once you have your paint and your brush, I will start with my blue, dark blue first. Around here in the middle here. So it's around touching the tip of the, of my, my plane. I got stuck, I forgot what it's called. This is the plane. Actually, you can also take some, a little bit of white and mix it with your blue because our sometimes the blue paint is a bit transparent so if you see the paint is a bit transparent so i'm just gonna mix a little bit of white if you see i'm just adding a little bit of white and then mixing it to my blue so it's a, it's more it's more milky so i'm getting a more it's still dark i'm just adding a little bit of white but it's it makes it more deep. The color is more deep and less transparent, yeah? So I'm just doing this on the tip for the first layer. So just add a little bit of white and then mix it with my blue. And then I'm just painting it. So I'm just painting it with dark blue first. everything so around half of this part so a quarter of your canvas i'm going to color this whole area with dark blue mixed with a little bit of white see how different it is when you add a little bit of white it's more This. And once you fill it the the half the the second half of it, a quarter of your canvas like this. 
you can start adding black, okay? Black paint. And then I will start painting the, the top part with black. And then I will slowly mix it with my blue color later, slowly. You can add a little bit of water to make your paint more watery. It actually helps sometimes, see? Just easier for you to blend the colors sometimes with, if you add a little bit of water, so you can use less paint, but the effect will be slightly more transparent, but for black color, it's fine if you make it a little bit transparent. Let's just paint the top part with black. This is now you have like this small white area in between, which is a bit awkward. You can just add a, add blue or white all the color, and then paint in the middle part, and then you slowly blend the two colors together, the blue and the black. Slowly blend, blend it. Just paint over the two colors together with wet brush here, wet brush, and then slowly the color blue and black blends nicely together like this. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first step. Just, just gonna wait for it to dry. Once you're done with this step, give me a thumbs up again. Good, yet the think it's really nice. Everyone doing great. I'll wait for another one minute, okay?
Okay. I'm going to start getting my colors ready for the clouds. So we will start working on the clouds from the, the top part, and, and then we, we're going to work on the bottom clouds after. So for the, the top clouds, you can see it's light blue, light bluish green. So I'm going to make a nice light blue color. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my blue because it's a bit greenish, greenish. What I will do is I will get my colors ready. So I still have my blue color. So I'll take my blue color here. And then I'm going to mix my blue with a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. Mix it together. And I'm going to add white. White. So white, blue, and a little bit of yellow. Okay, this is still a bit bluish, so I'm going to add more yellow to make it more green. Okay, I think I'm going to need more white as well, so I'm going to add more white color. Okay, and add some white. I have this really nice light Tosca blue color. It's blue, but it's a bit greenish because I added a lot of, I add a little bit of yellow. Use a lot of white and then you get this nice color. I love this color, it's really pretty. Okay, so once you get this color, I'm using my medium brush, by the way, so it's slightly smaller than the largest brush that I use. And everyone, don't forget, once you're done with your brush, please put your brush in your water cup. So it's to make sure that your brush stays clean and wet. If not, if your brush dries up, you can't use your brush anymore, Sonia. It will, it will be dry and you can't use them anymore. It's going to be broken. Okay, you have this color and I'm going to start painting the first layer of clouds, okay? So I'm just going to paint over my blue parts here. So I'm going a bit over so you can follow me. I'm just making really fluffy clouds. Add more white. I'm going to continue here with my fluffy clouds. Just making squiggly lines like this, like McDonald's, so we make the curves. Once you start, you already made the squiggly lines, you can start painting it downward so you can start filling it with the color that you made earlier, like this. Okay. You can add a little of white as well, just add white here because it's these are really fluffy clouds. That's nice. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to add some blue. So I'm going back to my blue paint. I'm just going to add some blue paint on my brush like this. And then I'm going to start painting the bottom part with blue. So it's, I'm making some gradation from blue color to green.
And then I'm gonna mix it slowly with the green color. So it's slowly mixed together. Again, just like the, the previous top part, you just slowly blend them together like this. Then you have two colors blended together. This part as well, just mix up two colors. And then the green, greenish blue color and the blue color is slowly mixed together. It doesn't have to be that smooth, so you can play around with the texture. So, for example, I'm adding some white paint here, and then I'm just going to add some white on top. So I'm as if my clouds are slightly fluffier. I'm making a nice cloud. <laughs> Anyone doing okay with the color mixing? Anyone have any questions? Or with the texture that you're getting? It's doing really well. You're done with the first layer of your, your clouds. You're gonna start making the second color, which is pink. So get your red color out, red and white. Adding some red here. white okay so i have two colors and i'm going to use this a new clean brush medium size i'm going to start more 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 of the white color and just add a little bit of red then i'm getting this nice pink color okay. once you have your pink color this part may be still a bit wet but it's okay i'm just gonna paint on top of it so i'm making this pink painting over it 
like that. Okay. And this part as well. So I'm making what I did on the top part, but this time it's with the color pink. So you're painting over the blue part. With pink paint. This. Same step, I'm gonna, after I paint the top part, I'm gonna color the whole thing with pink first. It's okay if it has some blue color on the pink. It's gonna be mixing up slowly together. Add a little bit of white. Okay, and I'm going to continue the bottom part as well with my pink. You can either, I think with this, we can do this either way. Either you continue with the pink first, or you can go pink, blue, and then pink, blue. I think I will do the pink right away, so I'm going to make more squiggly pink lines on the bottom part here. This. Part of some, some pink clouds. Really beautiful pinky cotton candy skies. Paint the class with pink colors around the sky. Once you're done with the pink color, wash your brush a little bit and then use a clean brush. So I usually wipe my brush on a tissue like this. And I'm going to make a really light blue color. 
Need more white. Making a slightly lighter blue shade, so more white. Can add a little, a little bit of pink as well, making a little bit purple. So I have this really light blue color. Just blue and white and a little bit of red. And then while the pink is still wet, you can start painting the bottom part here. Fill the area with blue, but make sure you only mix it with the top part. So don't mix the blue and the pink of the bottom clouds. So if you see here, I'm just coloring in the area where it's empty first. Slowly with my brush and then once I go up I'm gonna mix it but I'm just gonna color it first before I start mixing it And then I will slowly mix it together, the pink and the blue. So you get this really nice combination of pink and blue together, which is a bit purplish. As well, I'll just mix it the two colors lock slowly together. Just use the tip of your brush, slightly tilt it like this, and then you slowly mix the two colors together. It doesn't have to be too soft, it's just slowly mixing the two colors together so you get a nice you can add some white as well. This is a trick of mixing two colors. Just add white on your brush like this and then put it in the middle of two colors and then you slowly mix the two colors together nicely. Makes it more fluffy as well. So you do the same with the bottom part. Start coloring in the area, the empty areas with blue first, light blue.
okay once you fill in the empty parts with blue then you slowly mix the, the pink and the blue together again Just slowly go over the two colors together and the colors will, will blend nicely. Don't be afraid to go on top of the pink color. And if the pink is already dry, you can add a little bit more pink, okay? Add a little bit of pink from your palette and then add some pink and then... Make a nice soft pink blend. Showing you how to blend slowly. Just go over the pink paint with blue and swan, and then slowly mix the two colors together. everyone doing it's a lot of blending right <laughs> like your own cotton candy factory so you're happy with the result you can stop with the um with the clouds just sometimes you just want to add more details or make it more neat satisfied with my clouds so I'm gonna stop for now maybe a little bit more sometimes it's really hard to stop <laughs> just keep adding more white and then more pink more blue it's really nice to just keep adding yeah okay I'm gonna stop right there I'm just gonna wait till my clouds are dry 
Gonna wait around five, four minutes for everyone to finish off their clouds before we, fit, we go to the... Oh, okay, okay. Amira, I still haven't done the clouds yet. Yeah, everyone just give me a thumbs up then once you're done. Everyone don't forget to get some water and hydrate. Although you're painting. Don't forget to drink some water. Get some snacks. Did everyone get ha, have some have some dinner yet? Natasha, can you share with us what your favorite paint is? Like, is it like um, oil paint or acrylic? Hmm, my favorite paint actually is acrylic. So I actually started, the first time I learned how to paint, I was in the fourth grade. So I think I was, how old was I? Six, seven, eight. I was nine, eight years old. And then I actually learned how to paint using oil painting. So oil painting is quite similar, but um, the medium, we, they, um, it uses oil instead of water and the paint dries up within a week. So imagine if you're painting this, this is still wet until one whole week. So you still can blend slowly until um, like a, a long time. Whereas acrylic within five minutes, you just leave it for a bit and then it dries up really quickly. Like the skies are right here, it's already dry. So what I, why I like acrylic is because you can layer really quickly and it's just nice to get a lot of details on top of each paint in a really um, quick, quick amount of time, short amount of time. So yeah, I think I'm very comfortable with acrylic paint. I'm still learning how to do gouache and, and also watercolor. So you never stop learning even with painting. <laughs> Everyone enjoying acrylic paint so far? It's really friendly actually. It's very beginner friendly. It's not it's not it's not overwhelming. It's just very nice to work with. See, like once it's a bit dry, you can just add a little bit of layer like this slowly. Add a little bit of white. You can keep you can keep adding layers on top of the paint. With a little bit of water, you can get some more transparent effect so it's really versatile i can really do a lot of things with acrylic paint like this yeah And I'll wait for another five minutes.
taking one more minute before I start painting my my plate, my paper plate. <laughs> So for the paper plane, it's actually super simple, obviously, because the paper is white. So I'm just going to get more white paint since my, I ran out of white. I'm just going to put some plain white paint on my palette. Well, it's a clean brush, so I'm going to wash my brush, clean my brush, and then use a clean brush. I'm just going to paint my the two wings with white paint, so just white. Gonna paint it white. You can't really see it, but this is actually me painting the plane with white paint. It's the same color as the canvas. Just painting it with white. <laughs> Painting both sides of the wings with white. We will actually outline the plane later, so if your plane is not that neat on the outside, it's totally fine. We're going to outline everything later, okay? So once I paint the wings, I'm going to make a darker shade in the middle. So I'm going to make a slightly cream color so I'm gonna try mixing the color here so I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow to my white and a little bit of black so yellow and black so you get this really mushy yellow color and also I'm gonna add a little bit of red Trying to get a cream color. Fix a lot of error, um, trial and error before you get the, the color that you want. So it's making a really creamy color, yeah? Okay, I think I got the color that I want already. It's a bit brownish yellow, very light yellow ochre like this. So I'm going to use this color to paint the middle part of my plane. Again, the mixture is white, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, and a little bit of black.
Okay, once you color the middle part with this creamy light color, I'm gonna make a darker shade of the same color. So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'm just going to add a drop of black to the color that I had. So I'm just making it slightly darker, one shade darker, see? Make the bottom part here, the little triangle on the bottom. So this is the shadowy the part where it it's, doesn't get any light. paint this part and then I'm just gonna wait until it's dry and then outline it after okay so this is the first step for the for the plane just leave it to dry it's very simple right
I can't um wait. I can't hear you. I think the music is a bit loud. Um, can can you? Sorry, Gloria. What was your question? Uh, the middle of the plane. This one? Yes, that one. Okay, it's white. So you use a lot of white and then you add one drop of yellow, one drop of red, and one drop of black. Try mixing three colors together. So more white and just add a little bit of yellow, red, and black. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, sama sama. In a minute, I will start. So the next step is just to write the I have a dream in the sky. So it's fairly simple. So I'll be using yellow color. You can actually sketch it with some chalk first if you have some, or you can just right away write I have a dream with yellow. I'm going to get my small brush. I'm going to mix my yellow with a bit of white. So it's not purely yellow, so I'm just mixing my yellow with white like this. I start thinking I have a dream in the skies. Okay. I'm also scared if I make a mistake, so I'm just going to go with it. I
this is also tentative um optional okay so if you don't want to write i have a dream it's also fine you can have leave your 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 skies empty and you can just add stars if you'd like I'm just going to add, I have a dream in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Because he inspires me. Add a little bit of a drop of red as well to the red to the yellow, so the yellow make is more deep. It's more of a mustard yellow. You may need to paint over it a few times to make the colors pop, especially with the color yellow.
I may need to add a few layers. If it's too thick, you can always just add dark blue color in the background to make your writing slightly smaller afterwards. Especially if you're if you're a perfectionist, and you would like the writing to be really pretty and tidy. I'm sure you have the tendency to want to edit your writing. something like this at the star so don't forget it's a star here you know how to make a star you make you first make a triangle like this and then I pull it on top here and then to the right and pull it together and then you get a star <laughs> I'll just color in the star few more stars. This part may take a little bit of your time just because you you need to keep adding layers to the yellow of the stars and then to the writings, but you can always go back as well later to make it very neat.
But for example, if I want to make it smaller, I just go back to my dark blue paint. Okay, I ran out of blue. So I'm just gonna... Or outline. And just fill it in with the color and the background again. It makes it nicer. I'm also gonna outline the words a little bit with black later. Okay, I think I'm done with the, I have a dream. I'm gonna do something really fun. So using my largest brush, I'm going to take, use a lot of water and then get some yellow and put a lot of water with my yellow like this. So it's the yellow is very watery. My water is dirty, so it looks a bit icky, but it's actually just water and yellow. And then what I will do is I will flicker some yellow paint to the sky. So you can see it's like I'm sprinkling some stars. Stars to the sky. Oops. Oh no, I accidentally. If you accidentally do this, you can just clean it with water. So she doesn't clean it. just flick it your paint with your 
lot of water and then flick it with your hand like this. You pull it upwards and then you face your canvas. And then you get yellow stars in the skies like that. done with my skies and my stars and my writing I will go back to my to my plane in a bit okay how's everyone doing can I see some thumbs up maybe everyone doing okay yeah And this part takes a little while. Like, I think you need, I, you would like to go back again later, maybe just to add, to make it nice and neat. You can also add some outlines after this while we are also doing the plane. Okay, we're almost done. We just need to add young Martin Luther King on the plane and put some outline. And we're done. Anyone, is everyone ready to go to the next step or do you need a few more minutes? Maybe a few more minutes, okay? Okay, I'll wait for five more minutes.
Everyone okay? Let's move on to the next step. So I will start sketching my my young Luther King, Martin Luther King. But again, if you'd like to paint yourself, you can definitely do that. You can change the hairstyle to a ponytail, or maybe if you have long hair, you can add a long, nice, wavy hair at the back. And you can change the color of the clothes as well, okay? According to your favorite color and your favorite t-shirt or dress, anything you like. So first of all, I'm just going to start sketching it with, um, you can use a pencil or you can use paint or you can use a marker. It's all up to you. I'm just going to use a marker so it's clear for everyone. So I'm going to start... Let's go first real quickly. So the head is around here. This is the head, so I'm going to draw a circle. The hands. sketch approximately again if you'd like to change the hairstyle or the color of the clothes or even your your the, the clothing you know if you if you want to like wear a dress or even a tank top or anything you like you can change everything according to what you want to paint but for me I'm just gonna start painting my my shirt and I'm painting young Martin Luther King here. I'm gonna take a nice bright orange color. Oops, add some shell. For orange, I'm mixing red and red and yellow. Shirt with orange.
done with my orange. Okay. This G, so it's dark blue. I think I have some leftover blue here. Using my smallest brush everyone so it's easier to paint the details. nice brown skin color with just mixing black and orange so I'm just adding some black to my orange oops too much black and a little bit of white and you get a nice brown color orange black and white okay His hands. If you like, to, if you'd like to paint yourself, you can paint your skin color. If it's more light or yellow or red, so this is you can paint anything. You like. Okay, and finally, I'm just gonna paint his hair. His beautiful curly black hair. He's black. black, black. I'm also gonna start outlining after painting the black hair. And then using my brush, it's my smallest brush. If you have a smaller brush, you can also use it to out start outlining everything. The clothes, the hands. <laughs> Outlining part can get a bit tricky if you want to if you if you want a straight line you can also use a marker to outline everything once your paint is dry a permanent marker okay it's also an option
Oh, plane, you're plane. Yeah, this part can get a bit tricky because it's so hard to just paint straight lines. Sometimes the trick is to actually be quick and just do it. Because when you're scared, just like what I did here, you tend to make mistakes with the lines. Be quick and confident when you're pulling your lines. Also outline your writing. No one has any questions? Don't be shy, okay? If you have any questions, just unmute yourself or you can write in the comment section on Zoom or wherever you're watching from right now.
Any question, maybe unrelated to the painting or anything, you can just ask away, okay? Maybe any one of you have any questions about Bartiga? What we do? Sorry, I have a question. Yes, of course. How to make an orange color? At, uh, orange? Yes. Yes. Yellow and red. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You can add a little bit of white as well to make it more, more uh, pastel color.
can go back and tidy up a little bit if you want, like me. You can work backwards if you think your outline's messy or you'd like to add. Something you can just do it. After. Just touching up my painting a little bit. Areas that I think is a bit messy, I'm just adding more paint to it. But I'm basically done. I have everything already. I'm just, just tidying up some things. Adding more yellow to make my writing pop up.
How's everyone doing? I'm done with my painting. I just did some final touch-ups and what I will do last is sign my name anywhere on the painting. So I'm just gonna sign my name in the middle of the claps here. So I'm just gonna write my initials and you can also write the year 2021. So you always remember that this month in February 2021 during Black History Month you painted this beautiful painting I have a dream we still have a few more minutes before our session is over maybe we can take another 10 10 to 15 minutes before I hand it over to James to close our event today so I hope everyone's having fun and enjoying their time today and also learn something new. Job, everyone. Everyone's almost done. Let's wait for another 10 minutes, okay? Until everyone's finished, maybe. Everyone can take a toilet break or before we all turn our videos on and take a photo together. I think some people, some of our friends are still finishing up. You can add some final details, just tidy up your painting, adding the final touches. Cleaning up my stars a little bit.
Wah, keren-keren nih semuanya. Job everyone. And six more minutes, okay? Kita semua bisa foto bareng. Six more minutes. can't stop cleaning up the I dream of you. <laughs> Five more minutes. You can do it, everyone.
Oh, hello everyone. Sorry, I was I was muted. But thank you everyone so much. Let's all turn our videos on and we'll take a photo together. And maybe James can say a few words and ask Sure, everyone. let's take the photo first though. Okay, everybody, show your uh, painting at the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, another one. Everybody, thank you. One, two, three. And last one. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So, um, thank you so much, Kat Natasha, for today's very interesting session. A lot of our audience members seem to have a lot of fun. All right. Earlier in the event, we asked our audience members a question. That question is, which African-American artist painted President Obama's presidential portrait? And the correct answer to that is option B, Kehinde Wiley. Shout out goes to Mary Diana Bahrun from Zoom for answering correctly. Thank you to everyone who has participated. Don't forget to tune in next time to get another chance to, for a shout out from us. I'd also like to remind all our audience members of our giveaway, the iPhone 12 Pro. If you're still interested, visit our link at bit.ly slash BHM Express to learn more information. All right. Now you may be wondering, how could I develop an awesome idea for a place like this? It's very easy. All you need to do is go to our website at www.atamerica.or.id, select create a program and click collaborate with us. All event proposals coming to us will be reviewed and your event might be featured here soon. You can also subscribe to our newsletter for all our weekly updates. That wraps this episode. It's been fun, but we have to say goodbye for now. Follow our Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at, at ATAmerica for all our fun contents, event updates, and so much more. Thanks again, everyone, for joining. My name is James, and I'll see you at the next At America TV episode. Goodbye. <laughs>